To play the kashishi, which are basket shakers, you're going to hold them so the gourd or playing surface is pointing down. We don't want to hold them this way, which you'll see a lot of people will grab them and hold them this way. The problem with this is that you can end up breaking the handle. And the sound actually comes from the filling striking the gourd or the surface at the bottom. So we want to hold them this way and use a flicking motion to strike the filling against the bottom part, whether it's gourd or plastic or whatever it is. And then we can have two play a little pattern. Maybe two different pitches is kind of nice. Or to get a little more fancy, you can play the uh, kashishi by holding it and like a shaker, and you're going to play it and turn your wrist to have the filling strike the bottom. Now, here's something a little more advanced for those of you who'd like to try it. Try striking uh, the filling against the bottom when it's away from you and when it comes back on the up stroke or the and, the upbeat. So down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up. So you're just turning your wrist. Arm motion stays the same, does not change. Always moving. Steady, down, down, up, down, down, up, down, down, up. But look at my arm, it's steady. So down, down, up, down, down, up. And that is how you play the Kashishi.